Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is week 34 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. And then after we complete that, we are going to work on some of the ephemera that we created yesterday. We did um, all the texture paste and I wanna just kind of have some fun with those, I think, and play with them. So let's say hi and hugs to Maxine, Melissa, Debbie, and Lazy Daisy Journals. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so the very first prompt on this week is light. And so I have taken this, it was a um, portfolio, Let's see with a pocket and everything, a portfolio from the college where I used to work. And this was the front, front cover and um, I just, I just loved it. So, um, so all these trees right there, my building was in those trees. It was the former convent is what it was. So, um, so we're going to just, I just made a page out of it to go into this book. So that's, that's what we're going to work on top of. And then next week we have this kind of blank slate to work with. So I thought that might be a little something different and something fun. I'm going to pop some, some quick little hole protectors on here. I'll wait to do the other side till we see what next week brings. Maybe I can make it you know, complement the page or something. Okay, and then any kind of tag. I have this tag here. Paper that has a stain. <laughs> well, this was a piece of music paper that I didn't put in my uh, in my paper pack because I had a stain right there. So there's that. Let's see, stand, sand or stone. I found this old Project Life card that has stones on it. St something that starts with the letter P. I haven't decided. I'm either going to go plant or poppy. <laughs> I haven't quite decided yet. So we'll decide on that. And then a sticker. And I thought, oh gosh, I could, I could grab my book and find a sticker. So let's get started. I better have a little glue page, I guess. And uh, this and probably my... This is real slick, so probably my art glitter glue would be best. Okay, so what I was kind of thinking, I would like to kind of leave, th this is St. Charles Hall. It's kind of, it's the first building that was ever built of the college and um, in 1909. And so I want to leave that. I like having this too. This is the dorm that was built when um when i was there my and um also the science building but that's okay i can cover that up okay let's see i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do we're just gonna go for it here and see what turns out i don't really have any preconceived notions here so but i'm just gonna tear this down those can be stamped on. And I think I want to just kind of tear down this or something. First of all, let's rough up the edge a little bit. But I have to leave the stain because that was a prompt, right? Got to leave that. So I actually think I'm going to go high. Okay, I'm just going to put that down. We're just going to jump in because otherwise, who knows? I had a comment, I think it was over on Patreon. Um, one of my folks said, you know, when I'm decorating, I just have the hardest time because I just, um, you know, I can't decide. Do I want this or do I want that? And I said, you know, I really do think it has to, somewhat to do 
with practice. Like the more you do things, the more you kind of realize, okay, this is what I like. This, this makes me happy to see this, you know, kind of like that. Okay, this I'm going to put on as a little pocket right there, I think. And the tag, I'm going to put this on the tag and kind of somehow, somehow decorate it up a little bit. And then we're going to put the tag in there. But I need my flower too. I need my plant. I think I want to go with the poppy. So I'm going to fussy tear that out. See how we do very close to this other plant when you're fussy tearing if you put your thumb where you don't want to tear you can do like look at that fine line we split there but it's because my thumb was there and then of course the thumb on your other hand is guiding the other side getting there. Kind of deciding, do I want both of those red plants? I might. Let's just see if it takes up too much room. Okay. still see St. Charles Hall. I can. Okay, so that there. And then the tag. And then we'll come up with some sort of a sticker. I think I want to distress around the edges of the flower. Um, what was I, what was I talking about? I so can't remember already. Um, anyway, great years of my life at this college. So it's kind of fun because the things I picked, oh, now it's got another stain on it. Um. The things I picked kind of have significance to me. The poppy, when I was going to this one retreat, we talked about tall poppies, the story of the tall poppy being um, basically that you stand tall and you know, um, don't make yourself small. Be a tall poppy. Be proud of yourself. Something like that. So there's a little story with that, too. Plus, I just like poppies. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to put that on there. And then we'll work on the tag a little bit. Okay, you go right there. We're kind of doing the side here <laughs> is how it's turning out, but um, that's so I can see this part and the light is right there. All right, so now let's Let's get this trimmed down. Um, might as well just use this since I've got it handy. These are really good stamped pieces because they're all um, coffee dyed and everything. This one's not quite straight. 
Okay. These three can go in there. These go in the garbage. Okay. Um, I don't want this. Yeah, it's about time I get a new one of these. It's crumbing all over the place, but I've kind of been waiting for my new stamp pad to come. Although it's, this is the one still inky, but it's kind of grody from my, um, from my little waterfall journal. It's because I'm chewing up the edges. And so, yeah, it's a little bit disgusting. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Well, I was thinking we could go this way, which it won't fit. So I'm going to put it this way. And then maybe we'll do a sticker up there as well. That would work. Okay. We have a plan. I'm just going to put that down and then we'll get out the sticker book and see what we can find. Pop this down here. Okay. Now, stickers. I can get rid of my glue book. All right. Let's see. Um, let's look in this one and see if there's anything that... I want to put like a labely sort of thing across the top. I don't know if there's anything like that in here. It's mostly just flowers. This is the botanist's one. Hmm. Is there another one of those that would have a P on it? There's a P. Could I just put that at the top of there? Or I'm thinking about putting it there. I think I will. There's no rule that we can't have more than one sticker, is there? I don't think so. Okay, let me see. I'm wondering if this one would have a... This is the Bibli Bibliophilia one. I just want a little something at the top. Let's look at the P in this one. PQ. <laughs> I know your alphabet. Oh darn, there's not really anything that I want to put at the top. Okay, well. This is pretty. Would that fit? Not really. Excuse me while I take five hours to find something for the top of my little tag. This fit. I think it's quite fitting. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go to the antiquarian one. Let's see what we see if there's something in here. for polar bear <laughs> when else am I going to use this sticker and it's just the right size and it kind of pulls out the gray okay cool <laughs> that's it that's what I'm going to do because we've got let's see we've got light 
We've got a tag. We've got a stained paper. We've got stone. We've got something that starts with P and stickers. Cool. Done and done with that one. Okay. <laughs> you know, it is really... It is really cool how, um, you know, having the prompts, how you come up with, just because of what you pick, a different sort of a thing every time. It's just, it's kind of cool. I, I enjoy it. So thank you for that. Okay, so let's go to our things we made yesterday. Okay, so we made our envelopes. So that we can put those that's stuck. So that we can put those in our um, signature. Love that. They all need to be um, they need to be uh, distressed around the edges, but I won't take time here to do that. I just wanted to show you. And then this one, um, I took a little bit of the modeling paste and put on there um but i'm not caring for the white so i think i want to just let's see if i kind of grungy those up a little bit I'm gonna do that i might as well i'll finish this one so you can kind of see what i'm saying just want to go down the edges Got a few little, little hangyovers of the napkin, but, and then, then the other thing we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and distress this too, because this will show. And then that, then those are kind of finished. So there's, there's one of them all finished. See what a difference though the inking makes. I think it, I think it really finishes it off. Okay. So there is that, you know, there's one more thing I think I might do. I got this splatter stamp from Amazon and I just, um, I really, I just, searched splatter rubber stamp and this came up and I haven't tried it yet but I'm thinking a few splatters here here and maybe there would be kind of fun so let's let's try this out I may do it on some of the tags that we have too but I just want to I don't want a lot I just want a little just a little there and right there right here here and here okay I really like that that's fun okay well cool the stamps a hit We'll just set it over because I think we'll use it again. Okay, so that's those. Those we did first. Here is my um, my cover. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this is where the leaves are, I feel like it needs something. So I'm going to take my Pit Artist's Big Brush pen and just kind of, I'm just going to kind of, do the edges like that. I think, yeah, I think that's just going to have it stand out a little bit better, the, the leaves themselves. I don't mind that the, uh, that the little cross hatches, I don't need, need to outline those, but I do want, I do want these to show up a little more. So we're just going to take care of that. Okay. Let's see, maybe a little on 
this side. Yeah, that that brings that out. See the difference between, if I go sideways here, see the difference between that and this? So it's just defining them a little is all, is all it is. This one was, this one was messy. <laughs> splatted a little bit, but you know what? It's just fine. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to call that finished, which um, the, the signature has mixed media Minnesota, and I'm just going to put that with this, and I think that's all good. These are going to, once they're done, go with those as well. So I'll set those aside. Um, I wanted to show you, I did a few just to use up what I had on my, um, on my palette when we were working on these. So I just did another kind of antique paper. And then um, I did a couple of book page, just little book page tags. And those definitely need something rubbed over them. And then, um, and then there's this one. One thing I forgot to grab, so talk amongst yourselves for one second. Okay. So I did want my Inca Gold to maybe rub over onto some of these. So that's those. I mean, I don't even know in the camera if you can really see that, but there, there it looks good. So those are fun. So then um, I wanted to show you all of these. I love the black. Love how that came out, those three. So, um, just, just need a little more stuff to them and they'll be, they'll be good to go. Then this, these two were the gold Stamperia cream paste. Love that. These need to be defined a bit, I think. So, um, so we'll try and do that. These, love these. Love how those came out, and I like them just white. They just need to really be distressed around, and those will be basically done. There's this journal card. I like how that looks, too. And, okay, and then these all had the gold. So, um, so yeah, those, those are good. And then... Oops, and then the book pages. So we had these little, these little pockets. Super fun, I love those. And then this um, journal card, that maybe could use some outlining as well. And then this pocket, this page, I have these two side pockets and those are essentially done because they're already they're already um inked and sewn and everything and then this one with the black again so i'm gonna put that over with the done things gotta grab one more thing just one sec was i prepared for today not apparently very well okay so let's just play with these a little bit, see if we can get these things to stand out and and just kind of finish them off. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to put these with, I don't know. I was going to say I think they're done and they just need to be inked around, but you know, there could be a little something right there. 
I might have to look at those a little bit. I just grabbed my black pens because some of these may need black pens. So we'll, we'll get working on those. Also, I have this, which was my wipe off page, and I want to make that into some tags and stuff. So that's that's what we have going. And I think we've got quite a bit of time to do it. That was a quick little um, collage. I'm glad that I went ahead and um, ooh, I'm glad that I went ahead and did the page, you know, got it prepared ahead of time. Was gonna kind of look and see if there's something. Okay. Yeah, I like that on there. Okay. Well, we're gonna work on finishing this one. Of course, I have to. I just have to. If we're finishing them off, I have to do this at the time because I can't I can't tell if it's done until it's framed out. You know what I mean? Okay, so look at the difference in these cards. One with the um one with the distressing and one without doesn't that look more finished to you I don't know I just I just got to do it it's just this has a little bit of paint on the back that doesn't bother me I just think you know all the better yeah this will be cute let's grab our grab the glue book Save the desktop. So weather is warm here today as it has been for weeks. It's just craziness. Um, but we are maybe next beginning of next week or something. Well, let's see. By the time you see this, I think it will have come and gone, but we're supposed to get some rain would be awesome okay I think as well with this I'm going to grab this little punch and just put a little little slot helps if I hold it the right way right there Okay, that one's done, and I'm real happy with that. Yay. Okay, so I'm just going to set them in the front of my basket, I think. Well, no, I'm not, because it'll be in the way. Okay, so that was fun. Um, this could use something kind of up there. Uh I think. See, I've got some little fallish flowers too. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Has all the right colors in it too. Okay. What fun. I really had fun playing with that yesterday. I'm also looking to forward to Forgotten Friends Friday because I have a plan. But I'm not going to tell you. Not going to tell you yet. Um, but I'm looking forward to that too. I already have it set up on my, on my desk. <laughs> Already, I'm ready to rock and roll. That's what I am. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to film quite a bit ahead because volleyball season's starting and and Thursdays and and the weekend we're off doing that. So 
Okay, I think I'm going to call that one done as well. Yay! Okay. This guy has a little space right here. It's about it. So, I just don't know what's in here. It's got jelly print leaves. Oh, that's cute. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. My ink of golds don't have to be right on top of me since I'm not using them at the moment. Yeah, we'll finish these and then we'll move on to something else. I think I want to get my um, rub-off sheet cut up into stuff and then we'll kind of go from there. All right. Actually, I think I want, I'll put this on first and then I'll, I want to punch a hole in that one too. The other one had the, um, some of the modeling paste at the top. So I didn't want to do a punch, punch a hole in that. So, okay. Okay, love it. Now, punch a hole, and we're done. And these tags were just um, little jelly print tags that we had done when we had a jelly print session. It's actually, it was a full sheet of cardstock that we jelly printed, and then we just cut it into tags. Love that. Okay. This one, this one's interesting because it's got that white there. I think I'm just going to tone that down a little bit with some ink. And I'm not sure this one needs anything else. It's pretty, I don't know. I don't know. There might be a tiny leaf in that tin that might work. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's some tiny leaves in here. That's cute. What about this one? That's it. Okay. Well, that worked out. Yay! Four tags done. Woohoo! Okay. Then we're going to cut up that other sheet and just at least have it kind of at the ready to do something else with. Okay. So there's that one ready. Yes. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Push things out of the way a bit so we can take a look at this. Now, I love that, so I kind of want to do a tag there. And I would like that to be, what, maybe three inches? Yeah, three inches is nice. It gets a couple of the other colors in there, too. And so, of course, this is eight and a half, so I think I'm going to just cut off the bits that don't have any um, texture paste and I want it to be kind of a long tag because I, I, I always am struggling to find those so I think I'll leave that like that okay what do we want to do with this do we think <clears throat> What if we take this and go six inches? 
Yeah, let's go six inches. And then let's go four and a quarter, it should be in half, and make a couple of journal cards with those. More to be done, more to be done on those. This little strip, I might do it, I'm just gonna cut off the bits that don't have a lot. And then let's make this like, five inches, five and a half inches, five and five and a quarter, Let's split the difference. And that could be a sideways belly band, needs some work. And these pieces, I'm just gonna allow myself to chuck them. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna round corners on this because I don't want to lose the um, stenciling. Worked out perfect. Okay, and these two. So they'll be in the pile to work with. And kind of remains to be seen. It could go, you know, they could go this way or this way. So, um, and then this needs a lot because it's not got a lot on it. Okay. At least we've got them cut and they can go in our stack that we're working on. Okay, let's look at this one. This one, what I'm thinking is I have some copper um, Inca gold. It's copper colored. And I think that might be nice on these letters. I just kind of smoosh some on the letters. So let's see how that works. Um, let's see, I'm gonna need a baby wipe because my hands will get, get gunky. I'll just set those over to the side. Okay, I think I want a piece of paper under it. Just just for in cases. Okay, so, oh, I got silver. I didn't grab gold. Talk amongst yourself one more time. Not that I necessarily want gold, but I think I will as I'm working on these. Okay, so I want copper for this one. So mine, as you can see, it's like the Sahara Desert, dry as can be, but, if you just um, if you just put some water in there, just put some water in there and rub your finger on it. It's it brings it kind of back to life. I'm not covering it all because, yeah, I like that better than just the stark white. But I don't want much more than that, I don't think. Okay. So, what else can we do with this? Um... Looking in my basket here, guys. What are these? Oh, these are. Oh, what that would be like if I could do it. Okay, these are little notepads. I was thinking, wouldn't that be cute? Put on a notepad on a journal card. I've never done that. I 
I think I'm going to cut that off. I think I'm going to do that. That's just something different. I hadn't hadn't done that before. Had had any of you put a put a pad right on a journal card? <clears throat> okay. It's funny how the ideas can just sort of just sort of come to you sometimes. And what am I going to do with the strips? Mm-hmm. Go and stamp them. Won't those be great for little numbers and stuff? Okay. That's my pencil. I can still see my little mark a little bit. Just a little something different. You know what, though? I do I do think I want to just kind of go down the edges of this. Make it stand out from the back a little bit more. Okay, what do I have going on the back? I should be able to just put some glue here and call it good, I think. Kind of plop that right there. Well, that's fun. And, I mean, you can still lift it up and, and write underneath or see underneath. Well, that's fun. That's really fun. Deciding if I want anything more there. Any, any brown. You know, I wonder what would happen Actually, really like that. Okay. Okay, we're going to call that little card done. That was fun. Oh, these cards really just need to be inked. I am not touching those leaves. I just, I love how they look against the background. So, we're just going to, once again, frame it out a little bit. Gosh, it makes me so happy to be getting some of these completed. And then, um, I mean, like the sacks, I'll probably divide into the specific journal kits. But some of these pieces, I'll just have, I'll have a little bag of <laughs> sort of general um, ephemera pieces that, you know, if one of the journals I'm like, oh, need one more tag and I don't have have any more in the bag I can go to the general one and also you know by pairing it down to what will go with the journals that saves me from oh those I think those are just happy do they need a word down here they might need a word down there um anyway uh it keeps you from having like a huge amount of stuff that you're having to take. You're just taking what goes with. Autumn leaves. Love that. Okay, that's going to go there. These, um, these are from... Saved by Grace Creation, I think. <sighs> I do love it, my Etsy share people, when you put your um, shop name on your items. <laughs> it makes it easier for this kid. So, okay. 
Yes, love how that turned out. Okay, cool. Um, let's find um, something. Mold cider is kind of nice. I'm going to put that on there. It's the right, first of all, it's the right size, but that bottom part of that kind of reminds me of mold cider. Cool. Okay. Okay, those two are done. Yes. Pop these back in. Okay, what else do we have over here? I did kind of want to look at these black ones and see <clears throat> what else they need. How much time do we have? 15 minutes. Okay. First, I want to do this one. Okay. So, because I went and got wherever I put them. Oh, there they are. Buried them. I went and got my, my marker pens because some of these are like really low on ink. That one's a good one. Okay, because I think I just want to go around these. Because they are just, I mean, there's one thing about blending in, but then it can be too blended to where you can't even see they're there. Okay, we've got a little there. Just make them pop a little bit from the background. Yep. Yep. You can see them a lot better now. Okay. That makes me happy. I needed, I, thanks, I needed that. It needed that. We needed that. Let's do, I'm going to do a uh, walnut stain on this one because it is, it is dark paint. It's, be able to see this a little bit better, I think. Yep. And this one, I think, needs some Tim Holtz something or another. people see if I can find a person these two are adorable oh my gosh look how cute they are okay I'm not sure that this one's going to be necessarily fall, but I guess it could be. Um, okay, so first of all, they need something to stand on. <laughs> um, gosh, what do I have in here? I'm just 
kind of looking at the colors, trying to see if I have something that would be good. Most everything's pretty light. Oh, how about something here? Or this little part. Let's do that. Oh gosh, I need to clean my scissors. Completely stuck together. Did you hear that? Click. Okay, let's just put that. I'm going to put that like nearly at the bottom. Um, I'll clip it a little bit. So I could wrap it around a little bit too. Maybe right about there. Okay, they got something to stand on now. But I'm kind of thinking I might like something kind of going there. I don't know. It's hard because you don't want to cover up the background either, but feel like it needs something there. Now if I use this, you could see through it. I can reprint this. I have to remind myself. <laughs> Go ahead and use it. You can reprint it. <laughs> I go like that and then I can cut it. Let's go for it. So I guess that's another another thing with thinking about which pieces to use where and that kind of stuff is you know you can just go for it. That's the other option. the background through it. Okay, yep, that was the right decision. Alrighty then. Let's give them a little glue. Little glue on their heads. You glue haid, you little people. I'm sorry, I'm making sport. So cute. Okay, another one done. Fun. That one was fun. Oops. Plenty of blue on those little people. Okay, so there's that one. Yay, 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 yay. All right, what else? Um, let's see. Well, yeah, I was thinking of those. Um, let's. 
Let's do this with some gold and see how it turns out. This also needs coffee dyed paper on the back. Oh gosh, I might be able to treat myself to a, a new ink of gold <laughs> in the gold color. Apparently I use gold a lot. Oh, I have brown on my finger too. I'm messy at this, I will say. But it's fun. Okay, I like that better. Then I did just white. Those fly at me and fall on the floor every time. <laughs> Do I have a strip? Oh, right here. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty darn close. I'm just going to take a smidgey off the bottom. I know it's got a page number in it, but I don't care. I think that's kind of fun, actually. Right, and I'm going to... Okay, let's, let's get my scissors and stuff moved back. I'm not very good with mess, as you know. I need to have space to work. <laughs> had so much fun in this video. I hope it's been fun for you too. I I love getting some things finished. That just feels so great. Okay. That just just a kind of what would you say, easy little tag. So, one more thing I wanted to try. Do I have time? Oh, maybe just is uh, let's see let's find a good candidate here let's just do this because it'll be easy to see i want to try my nouveau crystal drops on the numbers and see what happens would that be fun we'll see i don't think by any means it'll ruin it or anything so i'm just going to try it and then That's going to be cool, guys. Yep. Nuvo Crystal Drops. N-U-V-O. Yes. That is going to be awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yep, that's really cool. So it's been fun experimenting. This tag needs more. I 
I'm kind of tempted to keep going. Oh, and I wanted to do those too. Okay, I know what we're going to do tomorrow, which is preparing more fall stuff. I'm going to be so glad I did when I'm at the retreat. And it's like, you know, because I have everything I need in my craft room. Like, you know, like the Inca gold and stuff like that. But wouldn't necessarily have everything at the retreat. So. Okay, that's going to be cool. I'm so excited that I tried that. And I think I'll ink around the edges of that with black. And then we'll see what can kind of go there. But won't that be cool? Okay, let's take a quick peek at, at kind of what we've done. But look at that. That's going to be really cool. I'm going to set that aside to dry somewhere. Where? I don't have any space in here. Set that right there. Okay, and then let's just check out what we did. This one is just kind of grungy and and it's like not my favorite, but it's kind of cool. That one. Love this one. Real happy with that one. Um, love these two. And this little idea, putting a pad of paper on a journal card. I'm kind of excited about that idea. Um, and then we have these four, which I'm happy with all of them. That one, this one, this one, and this one. So those are fun. And then um, we got we got one bag complete or one bag why do I want to say bag because it's the same size envelope one envelope done so we have we have a lot more to play with and I think tomorrow I want to work on making some sacks for my autumn journals so yeah there you have it we also these were basically done and we've also got the um the cover so thanks everybody so much for crafting with me today i hope you have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video bye